Hello everybody, uh, today we are going to be upgrading a laptop to a solid state drive. Now this is my Dell XPS M1330 laptop, this is pretty old, um, I think I bought it back in 2009. There is a review video of this on my channel, if you hit the link down below you'll see the review of this. So firstly I'm going to time the boot up, uh, up to the login screen so we can see the difference at the end. If I can try and get it at the same time. And once this is booted up and we've got the time, I will take you through all the steps to install the uh, solid state drive, install Windows, and get it all up and running again. So as you can see, this is actually taking quite a long time now. As soon as the login screen appears, I'll stop. Damn, there we go. 54.8 seconds to boot from completely shut down to the login screen. Now that isn't actually bad for a computer of his age. Hopefully we're going to chop some serious time off that when we install the solid state drive. So there's a few things that you're going to need when you're working on your laptop, obviously the laptop itself. Uh, a crosshead screwdriver for taking the screws out of the drive at the bottom. Obviously the new solid state drive for installation. I've unboxed this in my previous video. Hit the link up below to see that. And finally, a, obviously a bootable operating system. Doesn't have to be Windows, could be anything. Um, this is a bootable DVD, my, the original one. We need to make sure we've got everything backed up. All your documents, music, everything like that. Um, the, obviously the hard drive that you're taking out is going to be usable. You could plug it into a, a caddy to reuse it, but just in case, you need to make sure you've backed everything up that could possibly be deleted. So family photos, anything like that, make sure you've got it backed up. That's really important. Welcome to the underside of the M1330. Now our first step is to remove the existing hard drive. On the M1330, that's four screws. One, two, three, four. They're simple crossheads. Literally unscrew them, and then the drive should slide out with a little case covering over. So if I go ahead and unscrew these, then you need to make sure you keep these screws because they're easily lost and you need them to reinstall the drive. So now we've got all the screws out, the hard drive should just slide out, simply pulling on this edge here. Take a little bit of persuasion and there we go, the hard drive simply slides out. Now either side of this drive, on the Dells, there's quite often a caddy kind of thing to make it look nice at the edge. We just need to unscrew here and unscrew here. That will release the cover from the current hard drive, which we can then put onto the new hard drive really tiny screws on these things so really need to make sure you don't lose them there's one and there is another one and there it goes flying away okay really really tiny screws so that will allow the casing simply to slide off and you've got your hard drive out. Now this, you can put that straight into a caddy or whatever, access the data on it, should be fine. I'll put that to one side for now. So here we've got the new solid state drive that we're going to install and we've got the plastic clip that comes off the edge. We're simply going to slide this on the end over the solid state drive and reinsert the screws that we've just taken out of the old drive. So now we've got the bracket screwed back on to the solid state drive now we're going to insert this into the laptop. So this should just slide in the exact same way the old one slid out. You'll hear a little click when it's in place. And now we need to insert all the four screws back into their slots. 
this can be very very fiddly so if you've got a magnetic screwdriver that's really handy okay so we've now got all four screws in place very fiddly probably the hardest part of this job to be honest we can now boot the laptop up and we'll see what happens so when you first boot it once you've installed the hard drive I'll plug the power in just so we have no mishaps with the battery running out if I hit the power button the boot of sequence will start as normal however it won't find uh, any operating system on the hard drive it may not even find the hard drive that it's formatted so no boot sector on internal hard drive so that's a good sign it means it's found the new hard drive we've installed now one of the first things we need to do when installing a solid state drive once it's installed is go into the setup facility so into your BIOS and we need to set the hard drive communication uh, type to AHCI which is stands for Advanced Host Controller Interface I think um, if I go on, obviously your BIOS could be very different to this, but on mine, if I go to onboard devices, I can then go to SATA operation, and in there I can set it to AHCI. Um, you may be already on ATA, mine's already on HHCI, that's fine. I hit enter on that, and it will save the, save the changes. There's a couple of advantages to AHCI. There's hot plugging, which is not something I completely understand, and there is uh, native command queuing which allows when you're doing multitasking it queues commands better and um, in, in a more kind of in a way that's going to make the disk response a lot quicker so what I'm going to do now is install the operating system I've got Windows 7 on a DVD you could also download an ISO put it on a CD um, put a bootable make a bootable USB drive that kind of thing I've got this already so I'm just going to use it I'm going to simply slot it into the disk drive it's a slot loading drive on this so excuse the noise Once that's booted up, I can hit F1 to retry the boot, and it will spin up the disk, and we'll go into the Windows Setup. The Windows Setup is fairly self-explanatory. Once it's loaded, it's going to take a little while, and it's going to take you step by step through all the things you need to set up Windows. I'm not going to go too much into depth on that. Okay, so I've been through the Windows installation process, been through the wizard, it's installed everything, I've literally not done anything other than install Windows on this, so let's see the difference in boot up time. It was 54 seconds previously. Stop again when the icon for the login appears. Previously it was 54 seconds, it's now 20.8 seconds, that is 34 seconds difference, that's under half the boot up time. I mean, admittedly it did have stuff on it before and now it's just Windows, but that is a massive difference and shows what a massive bottleneck the hard drive in a lot of laptops is. If you have been guys, thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe up here to be notified of my new videos. And please like this video if you found it useful, leave me a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.